going to turn off the main power for the barn. And then I'll turn off the attic fan. And the main breaker on. Okay, so the main breaker is now on. I'm going to go through and turn everything off one at a time. So this is bath heat which is one, middle west lights, three, five, seven, so the slip panel, now switching over to the other side, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Now, reverse order, one's on, three is on, five is on, seven is on, which then also turned on all the overhead lights, and then the foot panel, okay, and then two on, four on, six on, Eight on, ten on, twelve on. Now setting the alarm for the barn. Going back onto the RV barn. When I left the all of the LED strip lighting was still on because of timers. But I unplugged all the battery tenders. So I'm beginning to suspect the switched power supplies that I got from China to run the LEDs.
Well, after tearing apart my RV barn, unplugging everything, disconnecting the alarm system, batteries, chargers, everything else, I finally found the problem. And what it is, is a cheap, inexpensive wall wart. That right there was responsible for all of that noise and it was probably 40 feet from the antenna. This particular wall wart belongs to a uh, well, to a Sony low light uh, security camera. But uh, I would definitely not use one of these if you have to. It sure caused me a lot of grief. Anyway, just goes to show that sometimes noise is in small packages.